Hi guys, Troy from Wash Right. Just did a house wash today. As you can see, the gutters are pretty dirty, covered in green moss and mold. Um, the house hasn't been washed in a couple of years. It is a rental property, so the body corporate has got us out there to give it a wash. One of our guys mow there, just uh, waiting for the chemical to come through the um, downstream injector. He's probably applying at the moment at around about 150 psi, so not much more pressure, if at all, more than what comes out of your garden hose. You can see the soap run down the window, and he, as he does, he applies the soap from the bottom of the house and works his way up. It allows a good distribution of the soap. So he's not putting a lot of soap on, a lot, a lot less than what a lot of people think. So he sprays it all up, works around, cautious not to put too much soap actually on the light or the light fitting. When we do leave, we do leave a note in their, in their front door and also in their letterbox, just letting them know not to turn any exterior lights on for at least three hours after we've left. And we put the day and the time so they know how long ago that we're at the house. A lot of the dirt does come off in applying of the soap. Um, we'll let this soap dwell for about five minutes let it do what it does, which basically gets underneath all the green, the moss, the mold. There's a couple of chemicals in there that will kill it, stop it returning. You can see some dark colors there. So this is after we've let it dwell for about five to seven minutes. So Mo comes back now, he's just rinsing it off. He'll rinse off from the top down. And you can see a big difference there with where he has washed and where he hasn't. And he just keeps on moving along the gutter line, cleaning it all off. Now guys, this recipe, soap recipe that we use for this, we do have a video of it um, on our page, so I'll link to it in the description below. You see exactly what chemicals we use, how, how strong of a mix we're making it. I'm pretty sure the main mix on this one here, which was roughly about 30, in a 5 gallon or 20 litre container, we have roughly a third of it is sodium hypochloride, a little bit less than a third. The rest of it's just water. We do put a little bit of surfactant in there to make it bubble up and foam up. And that's really about it, guys. So as you'll see, you know, the gutters are coming up almost like brand new. The house is already looking a hell of a lot better. And we still haven't rinsed it off yet. Once we rinse it off, it will look a thousand times better. But that's how we wash houses at Wash Right. As you see, no damage. The paint's not getting ripped off. The paint's not running. Um, we take care with the property, we get right up under those eaves, get all the dirt and the grime off. And guys, you know, this is what you, this is the, the level you need to work at in the house wash industry. Um, in our area, there's a lot of, um, I guess, cowboys, a lot of people that start up from home thinking that they could run a business out of their station wagon. Clean out the air vents just there. And as you can see, there's soap running down the windows there. What Mo will do here shortly is he'll pick up a, a broom and brush around the windows. That will just save these old windows having to put a lot of water on them. And then you do get water going on the inside of the windows occasionally. So this is about the time he notices the cobwebs. They're, they're just sticking a little bit. Goes, has, has a quick look. He'll grab his little soft pair broom he's got there. And just gives the window a, a gentle little brush. It just loosens up the cobwebs so that they run away with water. And that's about it guys. I'll let you watch the rest of the video. See how we wash houses here at Wash Right. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll post more videos shortly.